Okay, now we're going to get to the meat of things. Uh, what is a yearbook without images? And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to upload some images so that we can uh, put them into our yearbook page. So what to do there is to, you have to go to the image library first, right here. And it's under create. Now we want a place to upload them. In the inbox staff, you can see th uh, some people have uploaded three images right here. Uh, I don't know where they are or what they are, but uh, what you can do is you can create your very own folder. So you go here to activity and click on the arrow next to it, and you can see that some people already have their own folders. So if you want to create a folder, you have to click on the word activity and then right up here you can see where it says new click on new I'm going to call mine Mr. J and click OK and now I have my very own folder to put my stuff in my images so in order to upload the best thing to do is make sure that you do this first otherwise you can just drag and drop stuff later but click on your folder and then when you click on your folder notice right here it says upload right here but notice I clicked on my folder zero images so I'm gonna click on upload now I copied some images into my into my hard drive and I put them in a place where I would know where they are and I also gave them names so let's here I'm gonna click on add files and uh, let's see I have it in libraries and I put it in a logical place called pictures and I put it in a logically named folder called yearbook pictures and you can see right here I've got names and I'm just gonna select all these pictures easy ways to just click on one and go hold down the control key or the Apple key if you have a Macintosh and the A press the A key so hold down one of those and then press the A key and it selects all another way to do it is to highlight and you can see I've only got eight and so that you can see all are selected and then just click on open now watch what happens now you can see they're automatically being uploaded to my folder here they go okay so there goes the last one so all of my you can just close it when you're done just click right here or click done uploading you can see that all my pictures are now in my folder. Now we're ready to go over to the page ladder. And I guess I'm 66 or 67. And the last time I was, I couldn't find, wait a minute, I guess I'm not. Strike that, 26 and 27. Now I got rid of the uh, the templates, so I'm going to show uh, the the uh, design that I had because I want to go to templates. I found my templates. Uh, it's under custom. If you go to themes, custom, my templates, and you can save yearbook pages there, so you don't have to actually. You can create multiple yearbook pages, and over here you can save as a template, and it will automatically go into the templates. And that way you can just work on. You can try different things out, and if you want to go back to something, you can. So remember, I was looking at the gallery, and there were two in particular that I liked. I'm going to take this one that I saved from my first video, and just click yes. Okay, so you can see it's already got stuff in it, surf team, hypothermia. I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pictures in there. So if I go over here to images, right here, and I notice it says practice photos and also it says portrait up here here hold on okay you can see that it says portrait activity clip art which we'll talk about some other time and search if you're looking for something in particular and you know its name but I want to go to activity which is the activity folder where we have our stuff portraits gonna be the mug shots but uh, so our I'm already in activity and I want to find mine so I just go right here scroll up until I get to Mr. J and there are my pictures so here, let me just zoom out again and it really is as simple as uh, I got to the same name this one actually doesn't belong there can I delete it? No, I can't delete it here 
I guess I'll have to go back and delete that later. Okay, so here's one of a bunch of people on, that I went on a bicycling trip with. So I'm going to put that one right here. And it says you can drag and drop in images, but this one's not letting me. So I'm going to right click and delete element and delete that again. So it's not, you can see that it doesn't work every time. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to drag my image. Ah, there we go. See it turned pink. Didn't work. It says drag image here. Well, I'm having some problems. Let's try that one more time. Mr. Jameson, you're supposed to be able to make this work. Okay. Well, clearly that one's going to be one I'm going to have to play with later on, but I'm sure I can drag other images, so I'm going to drag that and drop it there. And that's supposed to be a picture. There it is, a picture of Mr. Brummage, and he and I went on a bike ride, and so I'm going to grab this other picture from our bike trip and just drag and drop it there, and there's me, and there's Mr. Brummage. And so I could put that over there. Over here I have my daughter with our dogs. Put one right here, and... Let's see, my daughter with the dogs in the waiting pool right here. And let's see, must miscellaneous. I've got my father-in-law and is on Father's Day. And uh, let's see, I've got another bicycling one that's very cool. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so let me just zoom in on some of these so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, so there's a bicycling picture. As you can see, you've got the sky right here. And then this thing, it's a very weird picture. I'll explain it later. Uh, there's me with some geese on a bike trip that I went on with Mr. Brummage. There's Mr. Brummage and there are bikes. And so over here, this could be my cycling section. And we'll talk about text later, but that's essentially as easy as it gets. So what I'd like you to do, and you know, you don't have to worry about it being the one and only, the final, the final product. As you can see, it, it happens pretty quickly. And the other thing is, with your text, my suggestion to you, if you're writing text, is to write it in Microsoft Word first. That way, if anything happens in, in um, Yearbook Avenue, or you change the page and you forgot to take the text out of it before you changed it, you have a copy of it someplace else. But for right now, just try to upload some pictures and drag them, drop them into your page, and don't forget to save right there. Okay, I'm saved.